So today I am going to be going over my winter shower and hair routine because I do switch things up a little bit when the weather is cooler and drier outside. So first things first, I gotta get in the shower and no, I am not naked. I gotta wear a bathing suit if we're gonna keep this video decent. So I'm just making sure that my hair is nice and wet so I can come in with my shampoo. And I am using the Herbal Essences Hydrolicious Shampoo, which is really moisturizing. And I normally don't use shampoos like this because they make my hair greasy. But in the winter time, I have to use something like this to prevent my hair from drying out. I like to start washing my hair from the neck and then I work my way up just kind of massaging everything Thing into my scalp. This technique of washing my hair was seriously life-changing for me because it really adds a ton of volume to my hair. So then I just rinse it out, trying not to get it in my eyes because that's never fun. And for conditioner, I follow up with my Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, which I use on a more daily basis in the wintertime. And I just kind of coat the ends of my hair with this and then comb my fingers through. I've also noticed that this hair mask is a fantastic detangler. So if you have knots in your hair, I highly recommend this. So I'm gonna let that sit in my hair while I work on cleaning my body. So right here I am using the Body Shop Moringa Cream Body Scrub. And this is an amazing scrub for wintertime because it's exfoliating, but it's also super, super moisturizing. And I love the scent as well. So I just slather this all over, rinse it off, and then take a loofah and follow up with the matching shower gel and this stuff makes you smell so good it's a florally scent but not like a grandma floral side note this was definitely interesting to do with a bathing suit on because i was like well i'm kind of getting clean but I'm wearing a bathing suit. Anyway, I am now proceeding to rinse everything off, including the hair mask. And then the very last thing I do is I wash my face. And I am using the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, which is super gentle. I love this stuff. In my last shower video, I noticed that some of you guys were saying if you wash your face last, that gets rid of all of the shampoo that can clog your pores while you're showering. And I've noticed a huge difference ever since I started washing my face last. So thank you so much. I am bowing down to all of you right now. But yeah, anyway, squeezing out the excess water, wrapping myself in a towel so I can get out of the shower. And then I wrap my hair in a towel. I like to do the twisty towel thing a bob All right, Mr. Winter, I am going to beat you and the dry skin scalies with my Jo Malone body cream. This is the Peony and Blush Suede, and this scent, oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with it, and I just put this all over me, like literally all over me. And then I follow up with the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne, and I like spraying this on my neck as well as the inside of my elbows to really make the scent linger. Then I just like to do my makeup while my hair dries a little bit. So, ta-da, magical makeup has appeared. And then I just take my hair out from the towel and I apply some of my Moroccan oil. And this is the light formula, which is really great because I have fine textured hair. So the original formula can be a little greasy, but this is awesome because it provides moisture to my hair, makes it smooth and shiny. And yeah, it's just really, really great. And I use the wet brush to brush through my hair and get rid of any tangles that may be hanging on. Gotta use a heat protectant before I blow dry my hair. So this is the blow heat is on styling protecting mist thing that I've been using for a very long time. It's definitely been years now. So I brush through my hair again to make sure that it's all distributed. And then it's time to grab the hair dryer and blow dry my hair. And I still don't really have a method to my madness. I just blow dry it. The only special-ish thing that I do is I sometimes flip my head over to dry my hair to get a little bit more volume out of it and that's pretty much it I would say nothing oh wait sometimes I get really cold hands and feet so I use my hair dryer to warm them up because it feels really good 
random but true. Today I am going to be using the Got To Be Guardian Angel Spray and this helps protect my hair whenever I straighten or curl it. The curling wand I'm going to be using today is the Chow Bella 3-in-1 Curler from Bellamy. And I love this. It is so versatile. It's dual voltage, so it's ready to travel wherever you go. It comes with the base and then three wand attachments. So the first one is the 32 millimeter wand, which creates really beautiful loose curls. The 25 millimeter with a clamp for perfect classic curls. And then the reverse wand that creates curls reminiscent of Taylor Swift. All all right, so today I'm gonna go with the 32 millimeter wand. And all you have to do is attach it on. It's super easy. Turn it on, it heats up really, really fast, and then you're good to go. So I'm going to start off by grabbing big sections of hair. These are bigger sections than I have shown in previous curling videos. These are like two to three inch sections that I hold for about 10 seconds. And then when I release it, I hold it in my hand for another 10 seconds or so so it can cool off and this really allows the curl to set and it helps it last all day. Now what I love about these curling wands is that they're different from other wands out there because they're made from titanium which makes them really light and easy to clean but they're also durable as well. The titanium also makes it super easy to curl your hair and I've noticed that my curls still look good the day after and even the day after that so it's free freaking awesome. When I'm finished curling, then I just run my fingers through my hair and I normally have about five to seven curls on one side of my head. And then I follow up with the Kenra Platinum Hairspray, which is my new favorite. It holds the curls really well and smells really good. Then I just start doing the exact same thing on the other side. Now, if you're interested in this amazing curling wand, I will have a link down below for you guys. I am seriously so in love with this curling wand and I'm actually going to be traveling at the end of this month. I'm going to Singapore, Hong Kong, and Bali, and I am so excited, and I already know that I'm going to be taking this thing with me because it is awesome and I can do anything with it. All right, so my curls are finished, and that is it for the finished look, except I am all about my new furry hoodie that I got for my birthday. I really wanted a furry jacket, and my wish came true, and my favorite part the furry hood. Oh yeah. So that's going to be it for today. I love you guys and I will see you all later. Bye. Way up high in my tree.